Well, good morning. This morning our scripture is found in Luke chapter 6, verse 31, and it goes like this. And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. This morning, I, I want to read a story to you that I believe with all my heart this is the true story, that it really happened. It has a great ending to it. You see, the new pastor uh, of a big church downtown transformed himself into a homeless person and went to the church that he was about to be introduced to as the new head pastor. Uh, he walked around uh, soon to, to be at the church for 30 minutes while it was filling with people for service. Only three people said hello to him. Most looked the other way. He asked people for change to buy food because he was hungry, but no one gave him anything. He went into the sanctuary and sat down in the front of the church and was told by the ushers that he needs to get get up and go sit in the back of the church. And he said hello to people as they walked in, but was greeted with a cold stare and dirty looks from people looking down on him and judging him. He sat in the back of the church and listened to the church announcements for the week. He listened as new visitors were welcomed into the church that morning, but no one acknowledged that he was new. He watched people around him continue to look his way with stares that said, you're not welcome here. Then the elders of the church went to the podium and, to make an announcement. They said they were excited to introduce a new pastor of the church to the congregation. We would like to introduce you to our new pastor. The congregation stood up and looked around, clapping with joy and anticipation. The homeless man sitting in the back stood up and started walking down the aisles. That's when all the clapping stopped and the church was silent. With all eyes on him, he walked up to the altar and reached for the microphone. He stood there for a moment and then recited so eloquently a verse from the Bible. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will say, uh, will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you, a stranger, and invite you in? or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for the least of my brothers and sisters, you did for me. After he had recited this, he introduced himself as their new pastor and told the congregation what he had experienced that morning. Many began to cry and bow their heads in shame. Today, as I see a gathering of people here, but I do not see a church of Jesus. The world has enough people that look the other way. What the world needs is disciples of Jesus that can follow this teaching and live as he did. When will you decide to become a disciple? He then dismissed services 
until the following Sunday as his sermon had been given. Folks, we're supposed to do unto others regardless of their situation. You know, I wasn't worth two flips of a coin when Jesus found me. Praise God. So we need to be generous. We need to be loving and caring even for the outcast. I hope this touches your heart. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for us. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.